This morning I want to read a couple verses out of uh, Hebrews chapter 3, verses 12 and 13. And I'm going to read out of uh, the New King James Version. It says, Beware, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily, while it is still called today, Least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. A little background here. <clears throat> uh, this letter was written to the people there in the Hebrews, and uh, they were reverting back to Judaism. Is what they were doing. They were, they had accepted Christ and were were uh, walking in Christ like. And anyway. These other people come in and told them, if you don't revert back, if you don't go back, we're going to kill you. They were being persecuted. So, everybody thinks Paul wrote this letter. It's not for sure. But anyway, he's telling them not to go backwards, to go forwards. Um, and, you know, we see this in the Old Testament. If you go back and... We've just, uh, if you're doing the daily Bible readings, we've just got through reading in uh, about the children of Israel wandering around in the desert for 40 years. And the reason they had to wander around in the desert was because of disbelief. You know, it, it, it was the very same thing. They had come through it and uh, was believing in God. And as soon as Moses was gone up on the mountain to get the Ten Commandments, what did they do? They made a golden calf to worship. So it was for unbelief that they didn't get to go into the, uh, the promised land. They had to wander around for 40 years, and their children got to go in. So one thing you look at there, you say, the Old Testament, the New Testament, same things going on? Yeah, you know, the Old Testament is relevant to today's life. So we do start thinking about today and what goes on in today's world, and... Uh, big thing that you can see is over in the, the uh, foreign countries that Christians are being captured and they are being killed for, for being Christians, you know, not renouncing Christianity. But how about here at home? Do we, uh, are we persecuted here at home? You know, maybe not in that manner, maybe we don't get arrested, but Satan is at us every day all the time. He is always trying to do something to us, always working on us. If, uh, if you're a Christian, if you're a believer, Satan's going to work on you. So we get here to this uh, verse 13 where it says, Exhort one another daily. And uh, what does exhort mean? To urge earnestly or to advise strongly. So as Christians... We know that we're supposed to go out into the world and preach Christ and uh, win those who are lost, but we're also supposed to help our brothers and sisters. Uh, whenever our brothers and sisters are being attacked by Christ, we need to be there for them. Whenever, uh, whenever your, your brother is down, you need to let him know that you're there. Um, you know, in, the, in Acts, in the days after uh, Jesus' resurrection and ascension, they lived together in one community. That probably wouldn't work today. But in that one community, <laughs> Brian may think it might work together good. In that, in that community, you saw each other daily. You were around each other daily. You was able to minister to each other daily. You know, a lot of times here we see each other on Sunday and Wednesday. That's the only time in the week we see each other. Um, some of us get to see each other more than that, and it's wonderful. <laughs> that is, and, and, and it's, it's the little things like that. Um, you know, we have more ways of communication today than they did. We've got text messages, and we've got that Facebook thing, they call it, and and, uh, and then we do have a telephone, you know. We can pick up the phone and call our brothers and sisters in Christ. So 
what, I, what I'm trying to get here is to uh, get at here is to strongly urge each other to continue in Christ, to uh, to be there for each other, to uh, lift each other up. You know, you know, maybe just a text message once a day to somebody saying, "Thinking about you, praying for you." I know everybody's going through hard times, and you were in my prayers this morning. You know, lift each other up, pray for each other, exhort each other daily. To, uh, to beat Satan, because he's out there, folks. He's, he's on us daily, persecuting us and, and uh, doing whatever he can to take us back into the world. So, uh, so lift each other up so we can all stay strong in Christ. Pray with me, please. Lord, we thank you for today, and we thank you for the many blessings that you've given us, and we thank you for, uh, for being with us and guiding us. And Dear Lord, we just ask that you will... Uh, will remind us daily to help our brothers and our sisters in Christ to uh, to reach to them, to let them know that, that you are God and you are in control, but dear Lord, that uh, we're there to lift them up and to strongly urge them not to turn to the world. Dear Lord, just be with us as we go through these hours of study and worship and um, your hand be in it all, Lord, that, that you are the number one and everybody knows that, that we do this for you, Lord. In Christ's name I pray.